up guys it's Wednesday it's the middle of the week I got your fix hop on in let's go for a ride with the fluffy gamer All right, first stop for the day. We're gonna go over to Bargain Hunters over in Poway. Let's go see if Renee's over there. Stop by, say hi. I know he's been doing a lot of filming and stuff, so you haven't been seeing him that much. But, you know, stop by, see if he's there. Maybe see if he's got any games, which I don't think he does, but yeah, I'll stop by anyways. And then uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, we got the big old truck over here. Looks like Renee just might be in today. This is the wow factor. There's always all kinds of good stuff inside here. Every time I come here, all kinds of different stuff. You never know what you're gonna find. Dell sheets, you can suck it. So there wasn't really anything inside there. I didn't think there would be. Um, but let's go right around the corner to the Salvation Army where I picked up that uh, NES uh, Game Genie for a buck. See if they got anything over there. Maybe I'll look over in the book section. Maybe the book's over there for the for the for all the, the cheat codes and stuff. So let's head on over. All right. This is the second time I've been over here in a row where well, there is absolutely no parking. So I'm going to skip this place. I'm not going to sit here and wait just to go inside and find nothing. All right, I'm over here at the Goodwill over in Ranch Bernardo. The sun's already starting to go down. Uh, this is the Goodwill, uh, one of the early episodes where I got me a JVC XI for 100 bucks. They wanted 179 I got it down to 100 Sure it would be nice to come up on a score like that today. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so I, I did pick up, I grabbed the DS game for Mario and Sonic's uh, Olympic Winter Games. They were asking six. I went online and I checked real quick and it, the, the basic goes for about five to six bucks. So I, I figured I'd just pass, I don't even have a DS. Uh, but I did go over to the DVD section. I always see uh, Danny and the Sinistalker talking about these uh, certain type movies from a company called Troma. So I saw all these DVDs with the with Troma logos on them. So I figured, you know, I'd give it a chance, pick them up. Maybe I got a hidden gem or something. Uh, the first one I picked up was called Chillers uh, for four bucks. These were all four bucks. And the, the cases, the disc, everything's in mint condition. Jessica Rabbit for four bucks. 
and Psycho A Gogo. It's a Colt double feature. Psycho A Gogo and Rawhide Tear. Don't know anything about these, but they definitely look like the cheesy B-rated horror movies that uh, Cinestalker is into. The last one I picked up uh, looks pretty cool. Love the cover on this. Blood of Cast. Uh, Chastely horror and human zombies rise from the coffins as living corpses. Um, that one looks pretty cool. I'm definitely uh, interested in watching that. Uh, the pictures on the back look pretty, pretty cool. Dead, fake, fake bodies and stuff like that. Definitely looking forward to watching this one. I'm not done for the day. Uh, I'm still out here looking. I, I definitely want to find some games. I think I might go hit up the Savers next. So let's head on over to there. All right, we're here. At the local savers up here in Myriad, California. Let's see what they got. Apparently, it looks like they still have the same games that have been here for quite a while. Pixar cards. That's a good one to have right there, but I already have that one. Tower Hero. This one's sealed. You want 99 cents? Tony Hawk ride. Eight bucks. All right. I'm at the final destination of the night. Never been in this store before. In fact, OGP just told me about it earlier in the day. I'm gonna head over here inside this Goodwill. Well, there you have it I'm walking out nothing in my hands but you know this game hunting deal sometimes you strike out that's the way game hunting go all right Goodwill bookstore thank you for 99 cent games uh, first thing I got was for the Game Boy Advance. It's sealed. It's three games in one. Mousetrap, Operation Skill Game, and Simon. Three game pack. 99 cents. Uh, this one I picked up because, believe it or not, you might not think that I would be interested in this game, which I'm really not. But for a buck, these sell for 12 to 14 bucks on eBay. No problem. So I basically picked that up to recoup some, some of my money from all the games that I've been buying. So that will end up on eBay, 99 cents. Next game I got, another PS2 game, 007, everything or nothing. Dollar. Uh, next one, I picked this one up. I probably won't ever play it, but for a dollar, Strawberry Shortcake, the Sweet Dreams game, I wish turn this fan down I wish you guys could smell this game because the second I opened it up the manual it's like a scratch and sniff you smell strawberries so that alone is the reason why I picked that up oh man it smells good in here now 99 cents uh, next game picked up I never heard of this before but RTX Red Rock I don't know if it was a good game or not but there's a 44.99 sticker on there at one point uh, it's a shooter, shoot, first person shooter type game. Ended up paying 99 cents. Next game I picked up out of that store Evil Dead, the Fistful of Boom, uh, Boomsticks. Okay. I'm a big fan of the Evil Dead, the original one. The new one wasn't that great. I do have Evil Dead on the PS1. Uh, I, think, I'm, I think this is a different game. I'm pretty sure it's not the same one as the PS1 game. I paid a dollar. Uh, this one has a price tag of $16.99 at one point. I paid a buck for that. Then I got some Wii games. You know how I love golf games. I ended up picking up a game called uh, Kids Sports Crazy Golf. Play 72 holes of crazy mini golf. 
that is a game that you want to play when you're with your buddies and you drink some beer and you just want something for, to play for shits and giggles, have a nice laugh. You know, it's challenging. You obviously want to beat your, your buddies. I got a, over here a GameCube game, Ice Age 2 The Meltdown. Pay a buck. Now, I did check all these out before I bought them. They're all complete. The discs are all in pretty good condition. Some of them are lightly scratched, but for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. Although I wasn't able to check this one because it's actually sealed. Tack and the Guardians of the Gross. Seal, well, it's it's ripping a little bit right there. Uh, but it's definitely sealed, it's unopened. Brand new, paid 99 cents. And there's more. Uh, another game I picked up, it's not really worth much, but I'm a big fan of uh, baseball games as well. The M I picked up MLB Power Pros. Yeah, it's kind of cartoonish. It's you know, it's not the realistic style game. You're more of an arcade style game. You know, fun. Nine nine cents. And then the last one that I picked up. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, this one's like an eight dollar game right here. I picked up the Matrix Path of Neo. And it is complete and I only paid a buck but that's it over here backed over to that other loser I wasn't scoring nothing so that's it for me I'm the fluffy gamer and I'll see you guys next time